We welcome you back. Tom Davis together with Rick Dempsey and joined now by former Orioles outfielder Larry Bigby, who's involved in a lot of clinics and camps. Explain, Larry, exactly what you're involved in. <laughs> um, well, I live over in Centerville, Maryland. Uh, I moved over there. I met my wife when I was here playing in Baltimore, and um, we decided to make Centerville our home. Um, we do different types of indoor workouts between baseball, softball, um, some lacrosse. Uh, I have a travel organization, Big B's Black Sox, that we go around and play up at Ripken and, and different places over there, sports at the beach and, and stuff like that. So um, it's always good to get give back and try to try to you know give some knowledge to the younger younger kids and, and get them going in the right direction if they choose to play this sport. So. Larry, like the rest of us, we sit back and we wonder what has happened to the game of baseball. Give me your impressions of Major League Baseball now. What is it? It really has changed a lot. Yeah, it has. I mean, I guess the biggest controversy is is the whole um, trying to hit a fly ball as opposed to really trying to to, to stay run. on a ball and, and maybe have the approach more middle the other way and let the pull side come to you, um, you know, and, and hit mistakes on the inner half. But Hey, that was my game. Everybody has their own their own um, way that they do it, and it is it leads to more strikeouts. Obviously, you see that in today's game. Um, but it's 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 hard to go against what guys have success doing. You know, you, you hear about guys like Justin Turner and some of these guys out there that 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 tell you that they do try to lift the baseball, and and hey, they're out there, you know, putting together All Star seasons. So, um, but I think there is a something to be said about you know putting the ball in play and, and, and yeah. trying to, to make things happen, put some pressure on defenses um, and get back to some of that. But Playing more of the one-run game? Yeah, yeah, playing more of the one-run game. How about the analytics? The analytics, yeah. everybody kind of goes crazy. Spin rate of this and yeah. you know, velocity. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, everything is just is, is a lot more. I mean, heck, it, it doesn't seem like that long ago when I played, but, I mean, social media wasn't even around, you know. So now that, that it, it's not even, I think I stopped playing in 2004, 2005 here. And like I said, there was no Facebook or anything like that. And, you know, just see how far that that's advanced and now into the game of baseball with the analytics and all the, the different video and then the machines that they can they can use to, yeah. um, you know, get all the feedback that these kids want um, between the things you put on your bats to, to, to track um, swing paths and bat paths and all that. So You understand um, all of it. <laughs> oh, I understand it all. Yeah, yeah. it's just uh, the, the thing that I found is a lot of players and even myself when I first started doing the, the, the lessons was um, I knew how to do it. But how do you how do you teach someone else how to do it? You know, and and sometimes what a hitter thinks about and the result that he gets is two t totally different things. You know, as, as a hitter, you know, hey, like the controversy of trying to maybe stay on top as opposed to you know hitting the bottom half of the ball. Hey, but sometimes you do hit the bottom half of the ball if you're thinking about staying on top. <laughs> For <laughs> so, me, when I became yeah. an Oriole, it was pulling the ball. Where right. one made to pull the ball, and that right. just changed everything. And I couldn't go back to spraying the ball around. Yeah, again. yeah, and I I, I got a. I, same thing, you know, same thing happened to me. I got away from my approach a little bit, trying to hit more more home runs in my career. And, and you know, it gets you, gets you thinking, gets you off your game, and, and then bad things happen. You know? Talking with Larry Bigby, tell us a little bit about your involvement with the Orioles and all that, what you're doing with them. Um, I try to do... I'm open to doing anything anything they, they, they want me to do. I just like being a part of the, the organization. I mean, the organization that brought me in gave me a chance. Um, being here as, as a local um, Marylander. So uh, I, I do a lot of the charity stuff. You know, we'll do a lot of clinics, um, you know, different things that, that they have going on in season and off season. Um, obviously, when we're winning, you know, we have the O's rallies going around and, and playoff pushes and stuff like that. Um, but, hey, I think those times are coming back. You got a monster ring on your right <laughs> finger there. Tell us a little about that. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I, I happened when I left Baltimore here. Uh, I happened to, to 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 wind up in a good spot in 2006 in St. Louis, and um, you know, we we end up winning it all that year. So uh, I credit a lot of that to the to the organization and to Tony La Russa and, and you know we had a, we, we, we kind of clicked at the right time that year and we put a good one together. So. Rick's looks like a miniature compared to yours. Uh, <laughs> they, <laughs> they, well, they almost make them to where you don't want to wear them every day. You know? <laughs> well Larry we appreciate you taking some time to be with us tonight and uh, yeah. the best to you and uh, we're glad you're a Marylander now. Well, hey, well thank you I appreciate you guys having me on so uh, good luck to, to you guys and the O's.